بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد Welcome back to Connecting with the Qur'an Today we focus on the sixth verb with regards to frequency in the Qur'an and it is the verb kafara kafara Ibn Faris rahmatullahi alayhi tells us al-kafu wal-fa'u wal-ra'u aslun sahihun يدول على معنى واحد وهو الستر والتغطية Ibn Faris rahmatullahi alayhi tells us that these three root letters of kaf, fa and ra they have one meaning and that it's that is to conceal something, to cover something so to conceal and to cover and this verb ahbab um, it occurs 525 times in the Quran and all too often though, the English translation, it refers to or it'll mention this believer to disbelieve. But what we'll come to see or should see already is that the verb is actually referring to, to covering something, to hiding something. And so looking at the most the frequency, we find that Allah 289 times, He uses it in the past tense of kafara, meaning He hid, He covered, He concealed. 129 times Allah uses it in the form of kafirun, which is the sound plural form for the doer, the fa'il. So kafir being singular, kafirun being the plural, 129 times. So if we really want to look at this word and understand it from the linguistic aspect, it's not really that a person disbelieves, that's not really accurate. What would be more accurate is to say that this is a person who is covering up, who is hiding, who is concealing. So in a sense, it's as though they are denying. They know what, whatever the issue is at hand, whether it's an act of belief, uh, a matter of belief, an act of worship, or, or what is right or from wrong. They know what is correct and what is right from what is wrong. But yet with that, they are instead choosing the bad choice. So they are hiding, they are concealing, whatever it may be, whether it be you know, their disbelief or whether it be their, uh, 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 their faith or whatever it would be. They are, this, they are concealing it, they are hiding it. And so that verb, to hide, to conceal, to cover, we see that even the English literally uh, cover, it's the same exact real uh, uh, letters, especially linguistically from where they're produced, ka, V, V, and Fa are all from right there at the lip, and Ra. So this cover is really something that if we want to look back at it, we can say that this is from an Arabic original root. Cover. Kafar, cover. And so I hope that inshallah ta'ala as we read the Qur'an, and we reread the Qur'an, the verbs having these three root letters take on a different meaning for us. Not just that a person just disbelieves, but rather to be more accurate linguistically, these are people who are covering, who are hiding, who are concealing, whatever it is in the context of the verse. And I pray that Allah Ta'ala continue to increase us in knowledge of the Arabic language so that we can have a deeper understanding of the Qur'an in its original tongue. Allahumma ameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Wa baraka ala Muhammad.